So solid workout, um, probably best part of an hour, hour 15. So deadlift to start, what, 80 kilogram total. Um, and then did three sets of 10 reps. Like I said, over the weeks now, I'm gonna start to, um, as I get used to it, up the weight, reduce the reps, so I can get to that point where I'm doing a, a five rep max is ideal, I think. Um, so after that, went in the machine room and did leg press, leg extension, and leg curls. Um, I do like those machines because even though they don't offer a lot of like functionality-based exercise like you might get from doing stuff like lunges or single leg squats and things like that, what you do get is the ability to just do a simple strength push or pull exercise. The reason why I'm starting low on the weight and higher on the reps is I want to be able to increase it gradually and not risk an injury and I also still want to be able to maintain the running that I'm doing and the speed work that I'm doing when I'm running uh, without risking injury there as well because I don't want to be up in the amount of weights that I'm lifting and the intensity of the strength training and up in the intensity of the running at the same time. So I'm still getting used to the running again because that has been you know, a bit of a mess for the last six weeks. It's been kind of on and off. Um, so now I've got back into that plan, into that rhythm of running, so I lighten the weights. And then once I've settled on both of those, that's when I'll start making the improvements on the strength work. The plan is this will see me up until Christmas <clears throat> and then in the new year I'm going to drop the amount of strength training sessions that I'm doing to one, maybe two a week but still lift heavy on those days and that's when I will start up in my running so it would be increasing the distance, increasing the elevation, more mountain running stuff that's going to be more specific to the ultra training Yo, what's up guys? So it is Friday and um, feeling a little bit sore yesterday after one of my runs, um, particularly I was feeling it a bit in my hips on the left side, so kind of around here. So uh, today I've decided I'm going to do a little bit of work on kind of mobility and stretching out some of those muscles in the hips and doing a bit of rolling on it as well um, to see now if when I go out for my run later for my easy run whether I'll feel good again so even though this isn't necessarily strength work I feel like it fits into that whole kind of um, category with strength work so Right guys, so that's me done with the stretching and the rolling for my hip. So um, the other thing that's bothering me today is my calves, particularly the lower part, which is the soleus muscle. Um, it was hurting kind of yesterday evening. I noticed uh, when I was heading up to bed, walking up the stairs, uh, it was really sore, uh, almost like throbbing um, kind of pain. Um, so earlier in the day yesterday I'd done some speed work, um, it was 10 minutes easy, then three times one mile at my 
tempo pace with a minute rest and then a 10 minute easy to finish. So I should have been good, it shouldn't have been too much trouble. Um, I mean immediately after the run, my calves weren't particularly sore and they weren't really that sore during the run, maybe mildly. Um, the only thing I can think is that uh, the day before that, um, I'd been to the gym and did my first proper strength session um, that I I'd kind of done in a good four weeks or so, you know, it's been a while. So um, just wondering if it's that kind of DOMS related kind of new gym goer feeling, you know, where you ache more than normal and it takes you a couple of sessions to get back into it. Um, and if you add the speed work on top of that, uh, I'm wondering if that's why it's just a bit sore. It's definitely got better as the day's gone on. Uh, what I think I might do now is again do a little bit of rolling for the calf and then I'm going to find 30 minutes to get on the spin bike. Alright, yo what's up guys? So it is Saturday and it's time for me to do a bit of strength work. Um, I've just done 45 minutes on the bike. Um, the reason for that is twofold. One, I um, I want to get my legs warmed up and ready to do this strength work. And also, because they've been aching the last few days, I use it as a bit of a kind of cross-training session to try and loosen up my legs and aid a bit of recovery. So, um, in general, my legs are feeling much better today, ready to do some strength work. I'm hoping not to go too heavy today or too hard. I want to maybe get a bit of progress, but I also want to be feeling good to exercise again tomorrow. Single leg squats with barbell, single leg deadlift probably with the kettlebell. I'm going to do lunges with a resistance band and I'm going to use that kind of going off to the side and then I will, so that'll add a bit of resistance and some core work to the exercise. Um, I'll probably do some kettlebell swings and the fifth exercise I'm going to be doing today is a runner's walk. So, let's get started. Right, so also guys, one thing I forgot to mention is that I normally consume some sort of recovery shake after a strength session and usually after a hard effort run-in. So whether I'm doing maybe speed work or if I've done a particularly demanding long run with quite a bit of elevation, if I feel like you know, that's taken its toll on me and I want to make sure I'm recovering properly, I'll go for a recovery shake. Um, my favourite at the moment is Tailwind Rebuild, uh, really good, it's got a 4 to 1 ratio of carbs to protein, um, it tastes really good and um, I guess the only problem is it's, it's quite expensive, um, so that's why I tend to only have it after let's say a decent strength session and a speed session. If it's just a normal kind of active recovery based run or some sort of cross trading I feel like I want to consume some sort of protein I probably won't go for this I'll either have like a normal protein shake and eat some carbs or I might just eat you know some portion of carbs and protein as well if I'm not as concerned as I would be after a strength session so anyway I'm gonna have this now because I can already feel my legs a little bit sore after that workout I'm feeling a bit jelly legged so um it was a good session.
Yo, what's up guys? So I'm supposed to be showing you my third strength session of the week. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen in this video. Uh, the plan was to do another functional based strength session. Uh, but unfortunately, two days ago, I was playing with my daughters and I've jarred my right knee. Um, so it's a bit uncomfortable at the moment and I don't want to risk doing any exercise. I have tried getting on the spin bike with zero resistance and it doesn't feel quite right. So I'm definitely not risking it. Um, unfortunately, the Cardiff Half Marathon is in five days time now. So... Um, that's looking quite unlikely. Um, I was borderline anyway because um, because I've been because I, my calves were feeling tight from last week and I wasn't quite feeling um, mentally right to run a um, a half marathon at this point. So I was borderline anyway, and now my knee is playing up. So I'm just going to wait and see. I'm going to give it a few days. If the knee pain is gone by tomorrow, um, I'll just take the rest of the week off. And then I might go out and run the half just as a, uh, a fun run. Um, but my gut is telling me it's probably not going to happen. So anyway, plan is now just to rest up this knee for the remainder of the week. If it starts to feel better, I'm going to start doing something like go on the spin bike, do some very light exercise with the hope of getting back out again early next week to start up with the run-in. So frustrating because I was really hoping to show you guys that third workout, but the plan is just to incorporate that in either my next video or the one after. So um, if you were into this video and you enjoyed what you saw, there'll be more to come. Anyway, thank you guys for watching.